Hello guys, cześć, dzień dobry, welcome to Polish Mastery. My name is Agata and I'm a professional Polish language teacher. Um, in today's video I thought I would teach you how to pronounce some um, names of professions in Polish. So as you can see here, zawody, zawody, it means professions, professions, occupations, okay? Um, so, all the professions we have here on this poster are in masculine form, all right? So, let's get started then. The first one is lekarz, lekarz, a doctor. Please keep in mind that r, r, z, that gives you r, r sound in Polish language. However, if it's at the end, it loses the strength and it sounds like sh. Therefore, lekarz, lekarz. All right, so let's move on to the next one. A singer, which in Polish, po polsku, piosenkarz, piosenkarz, pio, sen, kasz. And the same thing happens. At the end, sounds like sh. Therefore, piosen kash. Sh, sh. All right, and the next one. A chef, a cook, a chef. Kuchasz. Kuchasz. The same thing happens, you see, r becomes sh. Kuchasz. Kuchasz. Make sure you drop the mouth down when you pronounce a. Kuchasz. All right, and then the next one. Tancesz. Tancesz. A dancer. Make sure you pronounce C as c. Tancesz. Tancesz. And again, z at the end sounds like sz. Tancesz. So let's move on here. Engineer, an engineer. Engineer. So again, if it's long or tricky, make sure you divide it into syllables. In, z, nier. In, z. You see my mouth movement? Z, z. So for why? Do the duck face. Z. In, z, nier. For IE, make sure your mouth movement is wide. Nier, nier. Inżynier, inżynier. So let's move on here. Actor, actor. Right? An actor. But make sure you do drop the mouth down for A. Because I do say A. Actor, actor. If you pronounce this A too short, then, um, well, I would assume like some is not right. Actor, actor. Okay, and the next one, policiant, a police officer. Policiant, policiant. So here we can easily divide it into nice syllables. Policiant, policiant. Again, we have C, right? C is always pronounced as C, as in Betsy. C, C, C. And here we have Ja. Ja. So, Po, Li, Siant. Let's move on to this one. It's Urzędnik. Urzędnik. Um, Urzędnik is a, a clerk or a civil servant, a person that works in a like a governmental office. Urzędnik. So first pronounce this U and then go with the rest. Urzędnik. Urzędnik. Now here we have photograph. 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 Polish O stays open. So don't say O, it's O. Photo 
graph and please drop the mouth down for a photograph. All right, now here we have Dziennikarz. Dziennikarz. Um, Dziennikarz, it means a journalist or a TV presenter. So, first let's focus on this bit. Here we have J, J. For I, E, we know we go in white with mouth. J, J. Now we have double N. In Polish language, if we have two the same letters next to each other, we do pronounce them, uh, each of them. So it's dziennikarz, dziennikarz, tak? No, no, dziennikarz. And Ż at the end again sounds like sh. Dziennikarz, dziennikarz. All right, now let's move on here. Nauczyciel, a teacher. Nauczyciel, nauczyciel. Right? So here, make sure you see a u, a u. So na u, na u. Czy, ciel, nauczyciel. CZ in Polish language give you the sound ch, ch. That's why na u. Czel, nauczyciel. And now here we have kelner, a waiter. Kelner, kelner. Again, syllables. Kelner, kelner. Let's move on here. Informatyk, informatyk. Um, an IT guy, tak? IT person. Informatyk. So again, syllables. In, for, ma, tyk. In, for, ma, tyk. Mouth movement is based on syllables. So in, in, white, right, for e, then for, for, all stays open. In, for, ma, drop the mouth down for a, ma, and here we're doing duck face, tuk, tuk, informatic. A teraz, now, let's move on here. Architect, architect, an architect, right? Similar to English, however, please make sure ch is pronounced as so, ar, drop the mouth down for a again, ar, he, because I combine it with I, and he, he, tekt, architect. A teraz, now, we have rolnik, rolnik, a farmer. So, again, syllables, rolnik, rolnik. Rolnik. Here we have kierowca, a driver. Kierowca. So again, for IE, we go in white, yeah, the mouth movement. Kie, kie. Then we have ro. And now here, wca, wca. Did you notice, instead of pronouncing w, w sounds like in Polish language, but here, however, because of this t, v becomes f when I pronounce it. So, kierowca, kierowca. It's easier to pronounce it if you go for f sound. Kierowca, instead of saying kierowca, that's uncomfortable. So, go for f. Kierowca. Now, here we have muzyk. Music, similar to English word music. However, it means a musician. And please do not add this mu. It's m u, so mu mu. Think of the I don't know, like a little cow. Mu mu. 
and then finish with zik. Muzik. Muzik. And the next one is dentista. A dentist. Den ty sta. Light for a. Den t t duck face t and drop the mouth down for a sta dentista. Here we have businessman. Businessman. So obviously, as you can probably guess, we took we took it from English. Businessman. And we kind of spelled it the way we hear English uh, speakers pronounce it. So, businessman, businessman. And the last one is emeryt. Emeryt już nie pracuje zawodowo. So it's, uh, it's a person who doesn't work anymore. Right? So, um, a pensioner. Emeryt. E -me -rut. So, just to sum it up, I will read them all with my normal speed. Okay? So, we have zawody, professions, zawody, and then lekarz, piosenkarz, kucharz, tancerz, inżynier, aktor. Policjant, urzędnik, fotograf, dziennikarz, nauczyciel, kelner, informatyk, architekt, rolnik, kierowca, muzyk. Dentista, businessman, emeryt. Okay, thank you very much. Dziękuję. That's all for today, guys. Um, please, if you are interested in online lessons via Zoom or Skype, uh, contact me on my email info at polishmastery.co.uk or feel free to visit uh, my website as well. You can find all the useful links in the description. Thank you very much. Dziękuję. Pozdrawiam. Pa, pa.